songs to play. I'm gonna, I'll go into this. You guys, a lot of you guys know this song. If you are, am I echoing? A lot of you may know. <laughs> so I wrote this song. Uh, I, I got molested by a babysitter when I was like four years old. And uh, I didn't realize how bad it had messed me up until I got married really young. And then I got divorced really young, you know, and, and we had a little girl. And so it always takes two to tango. You know, there's, there's people here, you've been through bad relationships. Some of you guys have been married, some of you guys are still married, some of you guys have gone through divorce. And divorce is like a death, Amen. except they move down the hall. Like they don't die. Like it'd be easier if they just died. But, honestly, sorry, is that weird? Is that weird? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm I, What happened though was, is my dysfunction met my wife's dysfunction. And because neither of us knew what real love was, my daughter suffered. Because now her family's broken. And uh, for the longest time I was super pissed at this sick individual that would take advantage of a little kid. Uh, for a long time I thought, did I, did I want to do that? If you've ever been the victim, it's like stuff gets flipped on you, and so you start wondering, like, was I the predator at four years old? Like, was I the predator in there? And I didn't realize how bad it messed me up. And so honestly, if you've been the victim of sexual abuse or physical abuse by someone that shouldn't have been taking care of you, you like, I would have killed her. I would have killed her a lot. And then pray for you, one of you guys to raise her from the dead so I could kill her again. Like, I was so, I was so mad. But I realized something. I, I came to a point in my life where I had to deal with the fact that that debt would, would never be paid. She could never pay me back for what she took from me, and she could never pay back my little girl for uh, what happened to her life because her dad was a mess. And, uh, and I realized that I came face to face with God, and I realized if he could forgive me, I had to be willing to forgive this person. Wow. And so... That's the only thing we've got. I talked with a friend of mine who's a huge part of the LGBTQ community, and I asked her, I said, is there anything better about my love than your love? And she said, no, there's nothing better about a human's love. And she said, there's something so much different about the love of God. And when God loves you, it's way different than when a human being loves you. And it fills a part of me that will never be filled by someone else. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm a Christian. I love I love Jesus. But I'll say though, hey, most of us were stoked to be here. It's a sympathetic environment. But the reality is most people treat me like I'm a moron because I believe in God. And I just want to put an end to some of that. Like I believe in a very real God, and I live in a very yeah. real world, and it's a mess. And I still have faith, but I've been abused and neglected and left and turned on. And so I I want to give everybody here in this place a chance. If you've been the victim and someone's taken advantage of you and they've never made it right, you can't go to them and be like, you owe me everything you took from me. They can't pay you back. But there's one who can. And I want to give you an opportunity tonight. If you're holding a debt against someone else on the planet, I'm going to count to three. And when I say three, I want you to release the debt. Amen. And then we're going to invite the Holy Spirit to come and fill that spot because wow. they can't make it up to you. So, if you're here and you, to do, you, you have business with someone and you need to settle that account, I want you to make a fist and I want you to put it in the sky because we're going to pray for forgiveness right now. This is the strength of the Christian life. This is all that we've got. We don't have military power. We don't have politics. We don't have flash of money. We have the power to forgive. We have God. And so I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray, but I'm going to count to three. And if you're here and you, you have a debt that is not going to be made whole, you're not going to get paid back, I want you to release it tonight. That's the power that we have in this place right now. I'm going to count to three. From the moment you were born to present, and from this present moment into your future, we're going to clear the record. One, two, Three, let it go. Holy Spirit, come right now yeah. and begin to do justice work on our behalf. Yeah. The justice of heaven looks like Jesus, and Jesus, you came to make all things new. So I ask that you restore 
the areas of our life that we've been stolen from by horrible humans and by hell itself, I ask that you come and make things right where everything is so wrong. Jesus, come right now and forgive. Forgive the people that hurt us. Forgive us for holding on to it. Forgive us, God. Set our hearts free tonight. Right now, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 This song is because uh, I believe in Jesus, but I pray with my eyes open. I see what I can say. This song is called Eyes Wide Open. Let's go.